Good evening. New tonight, Newport News police say a woman is dead after a standoff. They say she was shot by an officer in the pre dawn hours Saturday morning. 10 on your sides, Raven Payne has the details. What started out as an armed carjacking in Hampton turned into a Newport News police officer shooting and killing a woman in a neighborhood. And we have home surveillance video of the moments leading up to the shooting. Take a look. Just moments after this crash, a woman in the dark colored car was shot and killed by police during a standoff. Newport News police say the woman held two people at gunpoint in the car, demanding they take her to a specific location. It was Hampton police who originally got the 911 call about the carjacking. Authorities say the driver crashed into this parked truck, moving it a couple of feet. The crash making the woman leave the scene on foot. That car belongs to neighbor Danny Bartlett. Looking at the car and then I dialed 911. By that time, a couple minutes later, then the police arrived down there, and then we heard some shots. Police say they received calls about a person with a gun and more 911 calls about shots fired on Jeb's place. And the officer, he was running up with a gun. He was like, uh, y'all need to go get cover because it's an active shooter. We heard about five or six. They arrived to find an agitated woman. Authorities tell us despite trying to de-escalate the situation several times and due to the woman's actions, an officer shot her. Officers provided medical aid until EMS arrived, but she died at the hospital. Police say the gun she had was stolen from out of Portsmouth. No officers were hurt in the shooting. Bartlett says in his two years living in that area, nothing like this has ever happened before. But he's glad he had his cameras up and rolling. Everywhere I move, I'm going to have my cameras up protecting my, my property and myself and my family. The officer involved was placed on administrative leave with pay pending the completion of the investigation. Chief Steve Drew will hold a press conference on Monday providing more details. Raven Payne, turn on your side.